the Jump Town 2.0 event was coming and to help prepare the Rebel Raccoons for participating in an org-wide war game event, pitting two teams against one another, fighting for control of Jump Town. The teams were composed of elements from every branch of the Skunk Works org. This would include fleet vessels and fighter squadrons, along with a raccoon team on each side. The war game would hopefully demonstrate the potential chaos we might see in the Jump Town event itself, and my team were preparing aboard the Skunk Works slash your soul about to be briefed by Mukin Schwarm. We will be infiltrating Jump Town and holding the facility until our captain calls the all clear. We can expect armed resistance and, as Intel suggests, increased movement of hostile forces in the area. Stick to your partners and bound as a team. Call your targets as we've practiced and we all get out of this alive. Raccoons, hurrah. Now, our task force commander had decided to hold back the Celestial Soul until the other ships at his disposal had cleared away for us to journey to Jump Town. But the rival commander had committed the full force of their fleet to the initial battle and had quickly broken through and we would witness the result of this from the bridge. Oh my god. We have turret gunners, I hope. The Celestial Soul had only itself and a fighter or two left defending it, and it was increasingly clear that the ship was in trouble. Damn, fires are. Uh, they look brutal. I think that was a missile hitting, hitting the ship. have lost our capital. I think we may be out of the fight before we even get to the ground. Okay. Oh, this one bad. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. We're flipping, burning, and we're running. Okay. Get yeah, G okay. safe, everyone. We're Joe. The ship would attempt to fall back, but the fire was inescapable. Oh, shit. Runs just came through. Whoa. <laughs> I think they're gonna lose this battle, so you should request permission to get us off the deck, maybe. We're gonna open a hangar. Hang on. And in our last ditch effort to salvage some hope of pushing on to our objectives, we were setting up to perform a very dangerous launch from the Celestial Soul. Shit, we're taking some damage now, okay. Hangar is opening, hangar is opening. Oh god! <laughs> Well, that went well. <laughs> well, my, my balls are descending back out of my body cavity now. <laughs> so, on this occasion, we didn't get to play much of a role in the battle directly, but the other raccoon team would make their way down to the surface, and we gained some valuable insights into the realities of such a large group of players focused on a single objective location, seen here from the perspective of raccoon fingers. I have contacts at ships. Shit. All right, drop us down behind this berm here. Coming down. You ready to drop? We're down. Doors are open. Let's go. Ground elements, troops, and vehicles are extremely vulnerable to attack from the air. Ships are hugely more powerful and destructive than anything ground-based, so the team had to try to leave their Pisces pretty far away and approach on foot to avoid detection. We basically need to do the same thing at the upcoming Jump Town event too, in order to fulfil our role and supply intel to the wider fleet, so we need to start making plans on just how to go about inserting into an AO without being detected. Long-time viewers of the channel will know raccoons love dragonflies for comrade duty, and it seemed a good place to start. Look at that, doubling it up on the dragonfly there. I like it. God damn, amazing! Brings a tear to my eye right there. Eight thousand. Excellent. Go ahead and open the exterior. Dragonflies are perfect for impromptu comrade shutdown, as they can be brought aboard the Valkyrie and can carry two people. They are easy to get into the hiding spots on the station too. And jump, 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 jump. Dismounting. I'm off. Good work. Well, that was a good one. I almost slammed into the thing. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit close. I will admit, even I, even I admit, I got a bit close on that one. We spend a lot of time out here at Comrades. Mm -hmm. I, I love it though. I love it. There's something about EVA. 
Eight clicks. The raccoons began testing moving deployment of dragonflies from Icarus, but on a planet's surface this time. We can see the altitude, actually. You got your head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Picked it. Doors are coming open. Stand by. Watching. That's two clicks. You're too high. <laughs> yeah. He might survive this. He might. Are you both out? No, Artax is out. Did you survive, Artax? I did survive, but I'm in a bunch of rocks, so okay. I gotta go around a little bit. Damn, okay. Is this a, like, post-apocalyptic city or some shit, or a dumping ground, or what? Ooh, it's I pretty... landed in a bad spot. Wow. I landed in yeah. this, like, trash, like, trash pile. Yeah. Icarus moving in for Artax recovery, unless you want something. No, 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 you, you, you go ahead. Yeah, you respond, yeah. Right, so what have we learned? Well, in first and foremost, wait for pilots to call go. Definitely a, definitely a thing we need to do. Most environments they would potentially drop into are not covered in debris and obstacles like Hurston, so that wasn't a problem. And both dragonflies survived the drop. But there was a big problem with these vehicles. Their infrared emissions were staggeringly high, potentially leaving them open to detection at 12 kilometers away. I really love using a dragonfly, both in space and on the surface. But if it was so easily detectable by ships above, we'd be left incredibly vulnerable in using them. It was time to run some tests. 23k from home. Are you, are you picking up the? Are you picking up the um, colors? Well, that should come in about 8k, I think. I'm curious. I'm curious if it does or not. Uh, I don't see it yet, but I'm still 12k in the air, so I'm coming down. Oh, I got something. Yeah, it's a cutlass. Okay, I see. I see you, right? I see you. Oh yeah, in. there's no doubt. You can see me. Do you pick me up at all? I don't see you on a dragonfly. No. I'm at eleven. I think. Okay, so more right now. Okay. Oh, I just got you. I think. Let me scan and make sure I've got you on. You got it. me. Okay. So you got me. In, you got me. You picked seven. me up about the right the distance for the um. The thermal reading to actually make sense. This would begin a search of the available ground vehicles for something with a more discreet signature. Both Gravlev pikes were just way too high to be practical for raccoon purposes. And actually, the wheeled combat vehicles were also just consistently too detectable from several kilometers away. With no navigation tools available on foot, having to walk maybe five kilometers in extreme snowstorms to the observation point would not be feasible. But it turns out there is one vehicle that has a very low signature and can carry two people. You just want to drive it around here or you want to load it up and take well, it somewhere? Well, okay, here's what I think. How about we drive it around here first just to see, because we're going to be driving this thing at night a lot, see how it fares. It is pretty fast, actually. Okay, this is definitely faster than running. Oh yeah, this would work fine. This is this is pretty decent actually. I'm not gonna. Ooh, I hit a rock. Now, on the face of it, this idea initially seems absurd. I know, but the PTV can stay undetected up until about 800 meters. Okay, so I've got my thermal reading. He is nine. EM is nine. IR is nine. Nine thousand. Just nine. nine. Just nine. Yeah. Yeah, you're at 84 for your EM, and you're at 901 for your. I are. This might be the vehicle. This might be the vehicle. We'd still need to test if it was tough enough to handle being dropped while in motion. So we'd be staying on Lyria for now. Straight down, maximum speed, back off the ramp. Look at that! You're in. Go, go, go. go I'm go, stunning. Go, go, go. Yeah, go, go, go. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to try something dangerous that may end result in my death. All right, let's try and drop this thing from a like moving it. vehicle, okay? Like it. Okay, ready? Yeah, where I'm gonna drop. Yep. Go ahead. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah! Like, <laughs> wow. On the wheels, too. Oh, we're gonna hit rock, though. Damn, <laughs> One out of ten. This thing is goddamn. Like, let's do a higher drop. All right, I'll come, come pick okay. me up. We'll try it even higher. This thing is, uh, this thing is growing on me. The excitement <laughs> builds. Full speed, um, 2,000 meters. Okay. okay. Here we go, ready? And. Full speed at 2,000 meters right now. That's much higher than I thought it was going to be. Wow. I have inherited a lot of speed from you. Oh, wow. You could drop 20 miles away from the AO. 
<laughs> and just slingshot you into place. Yeah, I'm coming down now. I'm gonna give it some. Ju I'm gonna give it some juice on the acceleration. And if I just hit the ground running, I'll be okay. This is gonna result in an explosion. Houston, the eagle yes, has landed. Very possible. Oh, rock. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I am good. I did land on my wheels, to be fair, but yeah, I'm good. So, Looks like raccoons you could, are moving up to ODST. We could genuinely do that. Like, we could, no joke. We could get, we could probably get two PTBs in the back of a, maybe get two PTBs in the back of an adventure. Go to Hurston. We'll drop from the edge of the atmosphere. Okay, we'll see what happens. Because that, that could be fun. Terrifying, but fun. The next logical step in testing was a truly extreme drop under full gravity. But if successful, this could allow insertion from orbit itself. All right, we're at 13K. Still going down. Opening the exterior. Okay, and you level out. Are you level? Uh, I am not level. I am level now. Okay, here we go. I am reversing now. Bye -bye. <laughs> there it goes. He's getting some air. There's some tape in my It's not the physics of the No. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I can influence that. Who knows? Use your, use your steering wheel as rudders. It is, it is, it's, it's smoothing out. Oh my god. I am falling. Pre, I'm, I'm the right way up though. It has self-righted to be the right way up. Yeah. Ground is now approaching like at, at speed. Yeah, you're at about 3,000 meters. I picked you up at 500 meters away. Here we go, here we go. Will it survive the impact? I want to find out. Set. Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 <laughs> Turn off the engine. We're good. I'm frosted over. I am like completely frosted over, but we are good. And we had a rough landing too. We hit a tree. We came through a tree, but this thing is fine. We've got, a, we've got ourselves a goddamn right, uh, recon vehicle right here. Have you ever done the, have you already done the uh, maximum speed, lowest altitude? Oh yeah, why don't we try that here as well, okay? Me as well. So if you go full speed, as fast as you can go, and at low altitude, and I will just drop out the back, okay? That's probably about where you're Okay, gonna here we go. Fast. Ooh, wheelie. And I am, ooh, I hit a tree. Oh my God, I hit a, I hit a rough landing. First person view of that landing was very cool, but I'm I'm good. What a lovely train this is as well. Wow. Yeah, there's a big there's like a, a mountain with a giant. This vehicle is indestructible, middle. honestly. Here we go. We would run repeated tests for durability, all with the same PTV, but every time it just kept on rolling. You guys see how much speed there was on that then? You went past me. Yeah, you totally went past me. I stopped. You went right back. <laughs> Again, the vehicle is completely fine. Hard time getting into your ship because it's so windy. With the insertion method decided, it was time to train the rest of the raccoons on it. Weirdly, I feel like the PTB is one of the best handling vehicles they've got. I feel like the suspension actually works on the PTV, which it doesn't seem like it does very well on the other vehicles. First stage this will be like in the in the Avenger, just checking to see if we ping on radar, like if we come up on radar. And because okay. we're gonna turn off our shield see if the 6k range is actually viable. If you want to stay back with him you're welcome to. Of course. Or we can both go and or we can both or we can both drop out of a ship. I mean you're quite you can drop out of a ship at very high altitude or you can stay on the ground here and Let's go! <laughs> the raccoons were making use of the Titan in an effort to try and avoid detection while in the air. With weapons and shields turned off, they thought the ship would only be detectable at short range, indicated on the emissions HUD of the ship. SCM at 1000 feet. So give us the go when we're ready to go. Like you're a quantum marker almost or something? Yeah. Or like, uh, and stand by for drop. Roger, okay. 
Sending by. There we go. I can see now. Three, two, one, drop. We are away. No. <laughs> Look how much speed we've picked up. Look how much speed we've picked up. <laughs> To be honest, if you saw, like, if somebody saw a PTV fly past them really quickly, I think they'd be like, was that just a PTV? And, and then, like, we are on the ground, look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Now comes the next part, the hard part, which is navigation. Alright, let me set up between you and target. Okay. And they would use the party marker from the ship as a navigation marker, with the pilot placing themselves far side of the intended destination. Okay, we got we got a little more coming here. And of course, sniper training is a raccoon mainstay. But unfortunately, a bug affecting female players and weapon aiming in different body stances would reveal itself to Kate around this time. Okay, so aim at, aim at you standing. Set range. Range is set 916 meters right now. So if I fire at you, cross here on you right now. Gotta get a hit. Perfectly dead, dead sensor. Go to crouching. Aim at you. Set range. And I get 2,000, which is like maximum, right? If I aim below you by about 1.5 mil, I put I aim the crosshair about your waist height from crouching to land a hit. Now, if I go prone, same thing. Aim at you, try and set range, which will go to 2,000. Now I've got to aim like much, much lower. Wait, oh, okay, yeah. So it's about, so that this is putting the kind of upper edge of the crosshair at your feet, I think I'd say. Fire again. From kneeling, it is aim at the waist to get a hit with that top bar. I have reported this bug to CIG along with my evidence, but it would mean that during jump turn I would be kind of guesstimating the aim point of my shots if I was prone. And there were also concerns growing about just how accurate our assumptions about the emissions with the Titan and detection range were. I'm going to jump into the this Avenger so I can check the um, radar. I'm, I'm doing some pings. Yep, I'm pinging. <laughs> okay, your, your marker appeared about 6k, by the way. Yeah, your, your pip appeared about 6k. Mine did? Okay. No, no, no. Oh, um, oh, Titans, okay. yeah, the Titan did. But a test of our assumptions during a joint training event gave disastrous results. We were tasked with finding the location of targets on Yela below, but were repeatedly picked up on radar from distances as far as 17 kilometers away. Hanging like crazy. I don't see anything. I mean, I see them. They're 30k out. Yeah. For me, they shouldn't be able to see me at all. Oh, we've been acquired again, but I still have nothing. I'm gonna do a circle here. Wait, we've been acquired. That's probably bad. Well, by by target lock, not uh, radar lock. Radar lock, not uh, missile lock. He's been lucky, apparently, as far as I can tell. Our methodology doesn't work. This approach doesn't work. So we've picked nothing well, up, right? They they've had us. They, that ballista has had us. So, the stealthy approach in the air was out. Our knowledge of the detection mechanics for ships still needs some work, and we made incorrect assumptions developing this part of the SOP. The PTVs, though, were absolutely good to go. So we'd fall back on Icarus for insertion, and just have fingers climb out of danger immediately following the drop. The PTVs are so small, the detection range so near, that no one would see the drop occurring anyway. And then, in PTU, Jump Town was upon us. So what is it? Well, it is one of three drug labs, and the one we see here is on Yela, that for a limited period of time produces free drugs to be recovered, and then sold on at a high premium. Furthermore, both criminals and law enforcement offer missions to participate. The high profits and promise of crazy action bring players from all across the system. I was meeting up with an old friend, Stick, 
who would talk me through the mechanics of how this works as we explored one of the drug labs while inactive. The, the, the lights, they, they've done I, such a I, good I, job with this environment. I especially love, I, I guess you have it up there, but at the, at the front door especially, so you see those red lights? Yeah. Those are heaters, like those are outdoor heaters. No way! It's so oh my god! Cold. Okay, does that, <laughs> and does that like environmentally protect you, if you will? You know what? I don't know, but since we're both in the same boat with no protective gear, this is a good time to test. Does it affect me? I, I don't think so. <laughs> that, now that would have been a cool bit of thinking from them, you know? Because, like, yeah. you're making yourself vulnerable because you're standing right next to a light source, but it is, yeah. like, improving your uh, environmental survivability. Like, that would have been a cool little trade-off. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, because you've got this, uh, this cool event and a little bit of cover at the front door there as well. You've got this, like, panel here that's, you know... You could have someone pint, and uh, I mean, I can I can't imagine that the, the front door is a safe place to be during any of these. Uh... So, so, if you haven't run this yet, this little doohickey here, the doors will be closed, and then on a regular interval, it just spawns a drug box that you can pull out, and then that's just free drugs. That's it. And oh, if you're on the, okay, so that's how it if works. You're the, if you're on the lawful side, so I've only ever done it on the lawful side so far, and at in around uh, Art Corp and yeah. Crusader. You're at Crusader, you bring them back to Olisar, you see, and you sell them at uh, the, any terminal at Olisar. If you take them from uh, in and around um, Art Corp, wherever, I can't remember the name of it, uh, the bunker, uh, the drug lab there, you bring them back to Genie Point, and you sell them there. How often does, it, does this box pop out a package of drugs? I think it's something like every 30 seconds. Oh, okay, so you can, you can build them up. If you if you've got control of the the area, you can build them up quite quickly. Then, yeah. So I, I usually have enough time to pull one out uh, with my tractor beam, mm. just quickly yank it out, run over to the to this side, open this door, run out to the front, stack it by the front airlock, run back, and by the time I'm back, another one is just about to spawn. So you can potentially then have situations where the place gets raided and the people inside get killed, and it's just like a stack of drugs. <laughs> just what they've just... Yeah. <laughs> they've done all of the heavy lifting for you and you've, you've just got to kind of move them onto your ship. <laughs> After several weeks of testing, training and preparation, the Rebel Raccoons were heading into Jump Town. Starting very simple, the aim would be simply to set up observation positions and perform denial of area with sniper cover. But how would the PTV insertion fit? Yeah. <laughs> we're all stopped if you want to move. Yeah, I think we're ready then. I was gonna say, you guys can go two, I'll go three. Here we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Make sure you take all the arms. What's the, yeah, the ridge? ridge okay, yeah. Away. Okay, the ridge is then, let's do the ridge. Get ready, our attacks. I'm gonna be dropping very shortly. Okay. <clears throat> Engine's on. How about a drop? Ten seconds. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Launch. 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 I look. I, I'm very far from you guys. I look. Oh, we're getting engaged. Someone's shooting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. An ion. Okay. We're on the ground, we're on the ground. We're escaping. Range the for the production the is, we're actually pretty close by. We're actually quite close, there's we're a, three kilometers. This is so violent. I'm up, I'm good. Okay, good, good. Dev, Dev, we see you up ahead of us now. Yep. The separation, even though we jump more or less at the same time, we're like uh, 1.5 kilometers behind yeah. here. We only had a short distance to drive and we would be encountering other players very soon. Yeah, there's an ion up to the left there. Is it uh, broken AI, the pilot? I can't scan him. Yeah, can't scan him either. Uh, he's. What you is see he fingers? doing? I was gonna say he's real low in front of me right now. I thought he was coming in to do a straight from him. Oh, they're shooting at him. Yeah, if we move off okay. to the left, like see that, see that rock formation, like 12 o'clock now. Are you guys right by the facility and there's a dude strafing around above you? I'm right by the inf. Burno. He was just shooting at the ground at someone, I think. Oh, he's out. Oh, he just got out. I think we ditch the vehicle here, and we move up on foot. 
because like okay. we're, we're approaching danger uh, folks for like ships being able to pick up this vehicle there's a guy in uh, Knox looks like he might be heading your way I got a crime stat <laughs> what did you do murdered a man or tried to at least I don't know if he's dead he fell behind the uh stop at this optical quick it, Phil and I are going to take this opportunity to turn off comms. Roger. I don't have a visual on the actual, like, there's a, there's a beam or something in the way. I can see, like, the top of the antennas, but, like, that's it, yeah. So we, I think we need to circle round, because, like, from this position, we're going to need to get real close in order to actually guys on. So we need to, like, circle using the rock formations here into a position where we can and be ready to like just stay if we see a ship coming overhead just stay real still because you know it's movement that they see i hear a ship I don't yeah know. that's a sentinel yep. hope flying overhead and he passed me when i was way over here he can't and... i know like, i don't know where why there was a knox waiting for him here or the, uh, even the hammerhead that was there. I just saw something move past at high speed. I'm going to take cover. Yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, sentinel above us. Is it seen us that it's crashing? Directly above us. Oof. Someone's engaging up there. Yeah. Inferno's just doing strafe and runs now. I see him off right in front of us. Okay, but this hill's off 12 now, maybe we get a good eyes on from the... There's a rock formation up there. I see it. I can out there too. Oh. I'm gonna push off left side, so big rock left side. See it. Okay, yeah, that's where we're gonna head because it should just get in the shadow there, which will give us a little bit of uh, extra hidden visibility. Yeah. E6 should probably put a hurt on a. Oh, I can oh, see yeah. it from right. I can see the facility from right here. I got it too. I got it. Oh god, I think it's shooting at me. No, it's shooting at the inferno, it's shooting at the ground. With the raccoons now in good observation points, they could begin scanning the area for anyone trying to enter Jump Town. It was mid morning on Yella by now, and things were already picking up. You want me to come in for a recon pass? Yeah, true? I don't see anyone on the ground right now. Oh, I see an ion. Ion up. Ion is coming in from behind the building. Oh, shit. Or I'll inferno, whatever it is. It's a uh, inferno. <clears throat> Wonder if he saw. Yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, there's a. He's got his landing gear down. That's a um, that's a star runner. How are we looking on the array? I'm on my way. I'll come. Are we waiting? Not for waiting. The array? I'm not waiting for that. I'm nah, shooting. Yeah, we should just engage. You know. <laughs> I'm all right. I already got a crime stat. So. What level? Only two. Their okay. ramp is coming down. Yeah, I, see. I don't see anybody running yet. What's that, sir? Yeah, I see someone. I really? see someone too. Behind they're, their they're behind shields, yeah, right now. So they're moving. I put two shots out, but both hit shields. I was gonna say I can see the right side of the building. I can't see the left side at all. I don't see. I saw him, but now I don't see him. Have you seen more than one person or only one guy? Only one. No, just one I'm guy. Moving one. in, moving in from the right side. Or yeah, from your guys' right side ship's of the building. Ship's gone though. Like ship's disappeared. Ship's gone. Yeah. That means he died. Died or logged? <laughs> he probably logged. And an inferno would soon show up to cause trouble, starting with fingers aboard Icarus. I'm gonna be killed. I got that inferno on me. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. That is an inferno, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Where's he shooting at? I don't know. It's just firing. 
Oh my god, that's right very close to me. Yeah, he's just firing on the uh, on the facility. <laughs> this is terrifying. This <laughs> is not an enjoyable experience. No, he's just straping around. He's wait, dude, he's, I think he's coming for a landing. He's coming in for a landing. He's landed. Oh, really? Yeah, he's landed. Shouldn't Build that be. guy, would you? I'll try, but like, he's going to be inside the shield bubble. Is he on the back side? He's out. He's just he's just left his ship. Uh, oh, it's, the weather's cleared up. Let me see if I can spot the door. I can see the door. Yeah, I've got good eyes on the door. If he moves towards it, I'll take him out. Yeah, be ready, Dev. Dev. I got shots on him. Okay. He's moving around the right side of the building. Where's your right side? Did you shoot through the wall? I see him. He's going he's underneath. Left. Yeah. He's down. He's, he's down. Good work. Bounty on him. Yeah. He's got a cool helmet. Take it. You've got a cool helmet. <laughs> As morning turned to midday, ships would show up, but it was pretty quiet. They're shooting distortions, it looks like. That sounds like it's right on top. It was. It oh, was, it was a sentinel, out. yeah. So the team put a plan together to recover some drugs themselves. I mean, I can just come with the Pisces. Yeah. We can load up drugs with the Pisces. That would be, uh, yeah, that would be an interesting ship to bring. Just don't <laughs> want them directly to us. Oh god, yeah. No, 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 no. But they would soon be in for a big surprise. I hear engines now. I see it. Oh, a hammerhead. Holy over. shit. A hammerhead and something else above it. A hammerhead and oh, a wow. hurricane. Oh, holy shit. That's on top of me. There, there's a goddamn yep. hurricane, hammerhead and a hurricane dropping in now. Okay. Hammerhead's landing wide as well. The one turret was just looking right at me, but no one did anything. I can't see the hurricane. I lost visual on it. Yeah, he's just landed. He's just shooting. He's just shooting his friend. Oh, there it goes. The hammerhead was seemingly here to stay, with no one coming out, and it would soon be joined by another ship. Oh shit, no. there's a cutlass on top of me! I told you I heard something right behind me! Oh, it's yeah, literally dude. overflying me! It's a best in show. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, wow! There's also <laughs> something further out past it, too. I see the blue. The door's open on yeah. it. No, it's all closed up. And the flurry of activity would follow. He's leaving. He's gone. Oh, this is like circling around above. Yeah. Hey, oh. I don't like him. Yeah. yeah look at the, oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah. In order to get a better view of the ship's landing at Jump Town, Kate would relocate to a new position. I'm relocating to the left. Like, oh, there's something overhead. Oh, these guys might be like blocking the facility so that people can come in and take drugs, like the mm -hmm. legal stuff. Uh, I think I hear something. Something coming in. There's an ion coming in. If that cutty opens up his door, so I'm going to sneak on board and just wait for him to come back and shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I see a guy laying on the ground. Could be me. There's a guy Could laying on the ground uh, under the... Raft. Hammerhead? Okay, I'm looking at the raft. raft. Yeah, I see him. I... On the other way now, yeah. He, he's just stood up. I shot him twice. So, for a little while, we were just in our positions, engaging anyone that left the protection of their ship shields. But our hurricane would return to attack the hammerhead, possibly the hurricane the hammerhead destroyed earlier. And at the same time, Fingers was returning in an ion. Holy crap. Lots of shots. They're engaging on that. He's engaging the hammerhead now, yeah, from the ground. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like on the ground by the hammerhead, just yeah. unloading into it. On the backside. Now would be a good time for you to shoot that hurricane, uh, fingers. Like that? Yeah! Light him up! Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's, oh, he's so close. He's taken off, he's, he's in the air. Damn, look at this, holy crap. 
your shields are critical. Ooh, nice no fingers. Get nice. Fingers. Oh, the, raft nice. the raft is running. The raft is running. He goes the raft. <laughs> Cutlass's back door is open and still on the ground. Open? Alright, I'm moving it. Oh, he just opened Shields up the side are up door. Though. Shields are up on the. Well, I see him. Okay. He's out. He's underneath. Okay, I'm looking. I'm gonna get back to cover. Oh, Jesus. Wait, you gonna blow the hammerhead? Oh, he's flying. Oh, he's running. <laughs> you? He did. He tried to. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. Back ramp to the cutlass. He's oh, moved. shit. Yeah, I see him. He's on the ramp now. I don't know if he sees me. I can take him out easily. One stamp. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the back ramp. Oh, okay. With all the intruders eliminated or driven off, the team could get back to the plan of bringing a Pisces to jump town to collect drugs for themselves. Someone's firing missiles over there. That was me. Oh, okay. I threw three at him just to kind of keep him honest. It was now late afternoon on Yella, and things had gotten very quiet at Jump Town, but this was not to last. Oh, is that I'm you out, Tax? Is that you out front, or is that someone else? That's Mucan Shorn and me. There's, I was gonna say, there's three of us. How many packages have you got so far? Because, like, we, we, we seem to be, like, not doing too bad here, you know? Uh, I'm about to throw my second package on board. Oh yeah, I see you moving. Okay, I got you. I see the ice of the Pisces. Okay. There's a fire off behind you guys, by the way. Um, like port. Yeah, side that's of the... from the uh the hurricane when it blew. Oh god, we've got some runs coming in. There's a there's an inferno coming in. Towards the Pisces. It's just it's engaging something off in the next valley, but it is coming our way. So you might want to yeah consider moving the Pisces. Oh, our oh. Here we go. Oh fuck. Holy yeah, fuck! Oh my god! Nice. Oh god! That that went right over me. The, the fucking strafe of bullets went right over me too. Oh my god! That thing almost hit. Oh shit! Run out! Pisces, run! 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 Pisces run! Pisces being engaged. Pisces being engaged. Ah, no! There goes our Pisces. Holy shit! They are proper engaging you guys. Holy fuck! Oh, oh my man. god! There's like I'm four down. ships on you. There's four ships on you right now. <laughs> fuck! They really engage you. I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive. Now they're engaging each other. Now they are shooting each other. <laughs> How are you not dead, Mucan Swarm? Because I am invincible. The Pisces was destroyed along with several of the raccoons present, and now Jump Town was very much in enemy hands again. Ooh, the Inferno is like... The Inferno is lighting up the goddamn building. Oh no, the, the, the Inferno has landed. Infinity is definitely landed. I'm gonna lay down right here and just wait for him. Flares up. Something's lighting something up. Ooh, yeah, missile's going up. <laughs> like maybe there's a ballista down there. Maybe someone's brought a ballista. I don't know. Cause... We got a fight going on overhead. Oh, he is right there. Oh, dead. Whoa. Whoa. No, they they are dead <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, they just hit the ground hard. Is the Cartwell still there, or is it dead? Cartwell is not dead, but I can't even see it from where I'm at. There's engagement going on from the ground, it looks like. this. something that's engaging with a laser weapon. Holy fuck! We've got more forces coming in as well. I've got at. something coming in from the direction we approach from. Can't, can't tell what it is yet. i got movement. I see people. I see people outside. I'm engaging. Oh, right here. Nice. He's moving around, he's flanking. Another hit, reloading. I see him. Lost him. Okay, I got the weapon bag and pull him back. Is anyone still on the ground, though? Is it just me on the ground now? Just you. Oh, 
I'd relocate it anyway. Raccoons would make their way back to support, but for now, Kate was on her own. Okay, I got someone on the roof. Engaging. So Jump Town should be all quiet now that I've got. Yeah, Jump Town is super quiet. Room. Honestly, can confirm there could be there could be people on the ground. I think I may have killed them. That guy was running in the open, and then there was someone on the roof a minute ago. As midnight crept over Jump Town, the flow of ships into the airspace did not let up. Yeah, I'm under fire. Jesus Christ. From a distance, the trail of bullets nothing moves is insane. Yeah, how can you just orbiting, you know? Like, just kind of like doing showbo orbits, you know? Redeemer is at the facility. They're lighting up the doorway. They're taking off again. They're taking off. Did they, they leave? I don't know Oops. if they dropped anyone behind. It's hard to see. There's a lot of, there's a lot of wind right now and a lot of, like, snow difficult to tell one observation that was very common here was ships heading in just to shoot at the outpost itself firing off an extended barrage of guns then disappearing again into space But as morning rolled around, things would go quiet again, and Mukenschwarm would head to the outpost to recover his lost gear. But that is full on me, I have all of my stuff back. Ooh, what a, what a beautiful morning. Wow, look at that, look at the light. Very nice. Makes visibility tricky from this spot, actually, funny enough, because, like, the sun is in my eyes, but... Damn, if that isn't gorgeous. But Jump Town would deliver one final surprise to the raccoons still on the ground. Oh, oh my god, oh my god! The ship just blew up. Did I die? Uh, I died. Yeah, your ship, your ship just went boom, I don't know, someone, someone must be nearby. Why did I die? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> At least I got this picture. At least you got the picture, right? You, you'll always have the picture, you know? Oh my god, whoa! Oh, someone's dropping goddamn Disney 2 up there. <laughs> oh my god, that explosion is big. What? Oh, that's why I died, because it was an A2. Someone's dropping goddamn big ass bombs on this place. And I was only 200 meters away, that's why I died. <laughs> oh man, come on, people. I'm 480 meters away, like, I'm probably still at risk. Me. Oh, wait, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, our very first run of the Germtown 2.0 event ended with a giant explosion, but we'd held out a full yellow day and observed some crazy interactions between players taking part. We have plans to head out again in the near future, but with a far more substantial and coordinated force this time around. Maybe this time we'll even get away with some of the drugs for ourselves. I'd like to thank all of you for watching and send out a very special thank you to all of our patrons, who you can see on screen right now. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Daryl Harris, who recently became a supporter of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you, Daryl, for your very generous support. These videos take a long time to edit, and especially today's video due to the length was quite the task, but patron support is what allows me to commit the time to get it done, and I'm very grateful to all of you for your generous support. If you're thinking of starting Star Citizen, use the referral code in the description when signing up for an account to gain an extra 5,000 credits in-game. We'll be back with more from the Rebel Raccoons soon, and have a happy holiday break everybody.